And something else is coming out is a new series with Eddie Redmayne. Now, Eddie Redmayne, like, he's always doing this stuff. Like, he's, I, I think he's actually a phenomenal actor. Like, he does some great stuff. But he, he's doing another, another show where he's playing a killer because he just came off a show where he was playing a killer. <laughs> this is called, yeah, right? So I guess he's going for the killer roles right now. Right. The, the, the Day of the Jackal series, it's called, for Peacock and for Sky. He will play the Jackal, a professional assassin hired by a French parliamentary uh, dissident to kill French President Charles de Gaulle in 1962. So we're going back so, in time a little bit. So it's based on I'll, that story then? Okay. Y- yeah, yeah. It's, right. it, it's, it's based on the novel and the 1973 film right. adaptation from Universal Pictures. But they're yeah. reimagining it, of course, as a contemporary story set amongst the current uh, geopolitical landscape. So, yeah, so he's, he, he's an executive producer on this. It's going to be through Universal International Studios and Carnival Films. And it's going to be coming out. They didn't give an announced date yet, but they're actually just starting working on it. So he's uh, playing a killer, which, you know, Eddie gets into his roles, so it might be good. I mean, I'm, I think it's funny that he's got a trend going right now. He's like, give me all the killer roles right now. I'm all about for that, you know. But he must be true to his heart because he's an executive producer around here, too. So he must really believe in the project. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Of course, there's not much news for this yet. It's based on a true story. So... You know, how far will they actually adapt off of that? Will they change it? Will they evolve it? I'd imagine there will be some. It goes in Hollywood. That's how it happens, you know. Anybody excited about this in the panel? Anybody like, yes? Or is everyone kind of like, eh, whatever? I think GR <laughs> called it another remake. Another remake. Yeah. yeah. I, I think they could have made something contemporary and said it now because with everything going on in france right now they are about three seconds away from <laughs> from taking right. out their president yeah. absolutely <laughs> Which would be kind of interesting if they did actually do it present day. I mean, that would actually make a new yeah. twist on it. But, of course, like I feel like there's so much content, though, right now. It's like so much and all these different networks. It's like really like right. well, another day, another another announcement for another project, you know. And it's like, of course, more of these movie actors are going to TV. It's just what happens. I, so I know this is something I harp on a lot, you know, especially with the, you guys talking about so much of this stuff. But, like... Do you really think remakes and reboots and reattempts and all that stuff and prequels and all do you really think that's the way to get people to subscribe to your streaming networks? Or do you think maybe like trying new because I'm not I'm not necessarily thinking like new content is the way, but like do you go with like hot IP or do you go with Day of the Jackal even? Like is that the right answer? Or do you always stick with like the newest, like like the same IPs over and over? Or do you go with something completely new, fresh, and original, and try that? Like, what is the I, best answer at this I point? Because I don't know. I, I don't think this v. is the right answer. But like, I prefer V. What, what so is new on? content? What streaming? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I do. Any, I agree with anything you. Anything streaming, like, I, and I, I'm so sick of remakes and reboots and preboots and postboots. It's like fuck you. Like just. Think of something on your own. I'm like, only interested stop. in like re- reboots and remakes if they're like from something for like from the 50s. Or like yeah, the or 60s if it's something, something that like, like when it's really, got really cut old short like, or like something that like you know we missed, like something about like like um right. I, I don't know. I just I feel like I'm I'm very negative most of the time when it comes to a prequel or a sequel or some f- bullshit. Like just get a new idea. Like isn't that what isn't that what movie making is to find ideas Not anymore. and right. make them <laughs> like, but I mean, at exactly. the heart of it, isn't that what it's supposed to be? Like giving new people chances, like, you know, figuring out where new ideas it's storytelling. come from and, and Don't figuring you want to out, hear exactly. a new story? Thank Do you, you want to sit around the fire and hear the same story no. from the no, storyteller? Or do you want someone to share a new tale over and like? over and over again? It's like yeah. some stories are tired. Like, it gets tired. Sometimes it's to hear the same like story, but like, you know, Rachel watches, you know, she's watching Parks and Rec again. Watch Parks and Rec again if you like Parks and Rec. I don't want to watch a new <laughs> Parks and Rec. Call me out for watching Parks and Rec. <laughs> Calling you out. No, like, I'm not making fun of it, but like you enjoyed the put show. It you have it, you have it there, you put it on. Like that's why you watch it. Yeah. It's not you're not gonna watch you don't want them to make a new Parks and Rec. Like necessarily, like that's no, not but they answer. probably like will. Solution. They probably but that's will. like, and like if they do, it won't be as good as the yeah. original because the original was as no. good as it was because it was made when right. it was and it's prime. All those people might not be as good when they come back. I mean, there's a talented cast, but it's like it's not the same. So like, 
if every time you dip into that pool and fish around back into it, expecting to capture glory again, you're never really going to because yeah. it was something fresh and new in the moment and that's why it caught on. So why not just take a crack at that? Because it'll cost you less to invest in something new than it will to invest in something that's a reboot because it'll no cost you way to more to reboot it. Anymore. But it costs more. Like that's the stupid part. It mm -hmm. costs more to make these reboots than it costs because it's yeah, like people don't want to take a chance. It hey, this is the original property. Because you don't know reboot, you so. don't know this person and you don't know what their content is. So you can go here. Here's like fifty bucks. Go try and make this. And they're gonna go, yeah. okay, because it's an opportunity. Yeah. And they're Nailed gonna get that. everything they put into it because that's their opportunity. <laughs> and they're gonna go, here, I did it. And they're gonna go, all right. And if it succeeds and they make a million dollars off of it, they go, hey, I spent fifty bucks on this. And it succeeded. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like the awesome. Point? This is great. Right. Like, so why are you investing a million dollars into a reboot of something that succeeded a while ago and then it makes 50 bucks the second time around you're the fuck up that's yeah. the fuck up like the yeah. bigger fuck yeah. up why are you wasting it and, and then you go you know what it fucked up let's try it again let's try it the same thing let's, <laughs> let's just yeah why not we might, it might let's bring the again. same people back and do it again too right right you know, why exactly. not like, give them a second chance <laughs> it's like i feel like we have yeah. this conversation almost every time i'm on but it's just like we do seriously, like, all the why? time because that's why? that's that's how it is though it's so I, stupid. I know, but it just keeps happening. It's so stupid. Like, Day of the what? Jackal. I can't wait to not watch that. Like, because I won't. I'm not going I, there, to. I don't give a shit. There's very like, few yeah, things that it's I like come I'm, back I'm Peacock. For, you know? Like, I'll, I'll come yeah. back for, you know, like, another Halloween movie because I'm invested in Michael Myers. Doesn't mean it's going to be good, but I will watch it. You know what I mean? I, Beetlejuice is coming back. It's I coming. will watch that. But even you know those I mean? ones? Like, there's like, very few things that I will even entertain, but those I'll but, watch. Whether I'm going like, to be glad about it or not, I will watch it, but there's very few things you can make. But like make Friday it. the 13th, I don't want you to reboot Friday the 13th. Just keep making them. Because the stupider and more unhinged it gets, the more off the rails. I'm excited. I'm like, yeah, go to space. Go to <laughs> space. I don't know. 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 I thousand people i want to see like the highest body counts you can give me like no, just dude, keep in, going hard go nuts Halloween, they needed to like he needed to grab jamie lee curtis and pull her into that meat maker with him and that would right. be a very I, satisfying fucking i agree